How's it going everybody? So it's been a long time since I've been to the Oakland Coliseum flea market, but today is the day that I'm back. Uh, so yeah, it's been like over a year. This used to be my favorite place to source. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it's like riding a bike and I'm uh, able to find some cool stuff like I used to. But yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go see what a year did to this flea market. Is it better? Is it worse? Is it the same? We'll see. It's also a Tuesday, which is historically the best day to come to this flea market. So let's just go give it a shot. All right, so last time I was here, I think it was like a dollar to come on a Tuesday. Let's see what it is now. Oh, it's a dollar twenty-five. Okay, so prices are increasing here in Oakland, but that's okay. How you doing? Well, Just one. All right. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, we got our ticket. Let's go see what we can find today. How you doing, man? You checking up? Right. All right, cool. <clears throat> How you doing? Good day. Thank you, sir. Bye. Have a good day. All right, all right. Okay, so far it looks the same. Usually this place is like halfway full during the week. This, this flea market's open seven days a week, but usually it's like not even half as busy. So this is kind of nice. I already see a Lululemon bag over here. You think there's Lulu in it? Let me go take a little peeksy. I don't think so. I think that's his lunch bag. Okay. Let's go look around. What do we got here? Okay. So, this is a Black Hawk holster. Looks like it's brand new. Originally 50 bucks. They got it for five. I know that these can be pretty expensive. This one's from 2009. I wouldn't say they're worth 40, but they're probably worth like 25, 30. So this being brand new, I'll probably pick this one up. Let's uh, see if I got a fiber on me somewhere. Oh uh, yeah, all those noises are just standard flea market noises. Can't get away with this. You want five for? Yeah, yeah. Thank right, you cool. so much. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. All right. Okay, first pickup. I guess uh, let me get to a little bit quieter area. We can look it up, see if we made a good purchase or not. Okay, it's a little bit quieter now, so let's uh, see if we can just scan this thing, see if it'll pop anything up. Okay, so kind of all over the place. Top comp is 45, lowest comp is 18.99. So. Most likely we're just going to be selling this thing for about 20 bucks, which is okay. Can't be mad about that. I'll take it. Hopefully it'll sell fast too. Rawlings, like Pro Series model of glove. If I had to guess, it's probably worth probably like 30 to 40. It does need a little bit of repair, but that's a simple one. Like this is a little, little thumb tightener. You can see them in here. It just takes a couple minutes to get those back in. But uh, I'd say for like five, maybe seven bucks, I'd pick this up. So I can see what he wants for it real quick. How much is your glove? 20. Okay, cool. All right, so for 20, we're going to pass on it. But we could look at RPS 1758. And let's just, uh, before we head out, just see what it's worth. Uh, RPS 175B. Okay, yeah, kind of what I thought 25, 37, and 20. So for 20 bucks, we got to pass on that thing. That's pretty close to what we would be getting on it. So, no big deal. A little right shoe guy from 2016. All right, let's keep on moving. So there's a guy over here that has this set of flatware and he's asking 45. It's like it sells for about 125. So to be honest with you guys, I mean, historically I try to work off like a 10X profit. So I would really want to be like around 15 for this set, but, or actually $12.50, but I might consider going asking him if he will we'll take like 30 just to see. How much is this one? I asked him for 75. 75? Okay. Yeah. Let's give it a little test. 
test, see how it looks. And then we'll go back over there and ask him if he'll take 30 on that set. Okay, I don't think this is real. Just from this piece right here. I know this is not the purse, but like that stitching is not very good right there. I mean, on the purse it looks really good. And all the hardware looks decent. For 75, we're probably going to be passing on this thing. It's a cool little piece. It's got a little bit of damage on the front, too. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Alright. I don't really want to buy another set of flatware, but they do sell pretty, pretty quickly. And uh, this brand, Wallace, I mean, I looked it up. Some of their stuff sells for in the thousands, and those are for the silver pieces. And this one's obviously not a silver silver set, but uh, all we could do is ask, I guess. See if we'll take it. It's just this dude right up here. Okay. Would you take, uh, would you take 30 on it? 30? No? Okay. All right, I'll just show you guys the set, though. What's that? I think I can do 30, that's about it. I can do 30, that's it. For this. 30 is my max, I don't wanna go any higher than 30. You wanna, you wanna do that? Okay. All right, thank you. All right, so here's the set that we just bought. These will be cleaned off. Actually, let me look at this real quick. I didn't really look at them too close. Let me just make sure this stuff comes off real quick. Yeah, that'll clean off. Kind of worried me a little bit there for a second, but yeah. Nice little set. Should sell for about like at least 125. Okay. Here's the next issue. I don't really have too much uh, change. So I'm going to have to give them a bunch of ones. So there's 10 there. And then back here, I have a bunch of ones. So I think each one of these is 10 bucks. So let's see. Just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, each stack is twenty. Is one's okay? There you go. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. All right, he's gonna double check that, but uh, yeah, cool little set. I like how they're designed too. Just interesting with the like the gold tone and then the silver tone. So not too bad. I don't know. Probably not the best deal in the world, but still pretty good. Thank you. The flea market was super slow. I'm already done with it. But we're going to be heading out here in a second. I do have an appointment, but afterwards we're going to be hitting up some thrift stores. So stick with me. Uh, it sucks that the flea market was so dead. Or actually it wasn't even dead. It just didn't provide much good stuff today. All right, so we made it to the first Goodwill. This is the same Goodwill that I told you guys about last time I was picking in California. Fairly newer one. And if you notice, last time I was here, there's nobody in the parking lot. Now it's full. Uh, but yeah, should still be pretty good. But yeah, let's go check it out. All right, I'm gonna go straight to the purses first because that's where I went last time. Didn't find anything, but it still was fun to look. Okay, let's see what they got here. Uh, no name. Okay. No great purses, but uh, yeah, let's go look around in the hard goods. So I was checking out this new cart that they uh, probably just brought out right before I came because it looks pretty full, but yeah, I saw these. These look like some gothic boots if I've ever seen a gothic boot this would be a gothic boot but uh yeah decent condition they're made by demonia which is a new brand to me I don't know if you guys could even see it there but I'll show you here on the on the phone I already kind of looked them up a little bit but some of these sell for really good money so the more intricate ones so let's uh let's sort it high real quick and see if there's anything similar but yeah these are all pre-owned so 225 for those these are very similar sold for 130 100 bucks but if i had to guess these would probably be in the probably 70 to 90 dollar range so still really cool 
and uh, they are kind of taxing on them at 20 bucks, but I think they're cool enough that they will sell fairly quickly, so we'll just go ahead and uh, pick up these boots for now. This is going to be our next pickup here. Originally when I picked these up, I thought they were a little bit newer, but when I looked on the back, they're from 1987, so these are little uh, Discover air and water rockets, and there's two of them. So they want two bucks each, so it's going to be four dollars total. But I did just look them up, and uh, oh, you guys can see I'm on the phone with Kayla. <laughs> uh, they sell for $16 free shipping. So basically what I'll do here is I'll probably just list them together. So I'll have 4 bucks into them, probably list them for about 30 bucks plus shipping, and then we'll call it a day. Hopefully they'll sell fast because they are kind of unique and vintage. But to be honest with you guys, stuff like this will either sell really fast or they're going to just take forever to sell. So... I don't know. I don't know if I could recommend everybody pick them up, but this is the kind of stuff that I like. The, the new old stock vintage stuff that, uh, you know, you're not going to see everywhere, you know. That's probably the last two brand new ones in the box, probably in the world, so we'll pick those guys up. So I was looking at a couple things in this uh, specialty case. So that's a Lululemon belt bag, but they want 35 for that, and it looks like it sells for like 17 That's the only comp that I could find on eBay, um, so we'll pass on that. I also have this Tiffany, I think I looked it up and it said candle holder. That would be a big candle, but uh, yeah, they want $100 for that one. And the ones that I was seeing were like right around like 20 to 25 So I don't know. I thought Tiffany was a little bit better than that, but uh, we'll be passing on them. Uh, yeah, I already checked out and I saw these on a new rack that just came out. These are some vintage guest jeans. Um, very cool, kind of look like a high rise maybe but in nice condition and the cool thing is you know they're made in USA actually guess USA made in Mexico okay so that's throwing me off now so now I'm thinking maybe they're not vintage I don't know I just don't know anything about guest jeans but uh yeah let me do a little bit of research real quick and then we'll decide if we want to buy these or not so they are kind of vintage I guess the made in Mexico ones could possibly be from the 90s uh, but it looks like once you get into this model, the main Mexico ones, like the top comps, like the absolute top are like 40 bucks. And then they dip all the way down like into the 20s. So we'll pass on these. But yeah, we still got some other cool stuff today. So let's uh, head over to another thrift store. All right. So we get to go to two of my old stomping grounds in one day. So the old time, long time viewers are going to know exactly where I'm at at this point. Uh, but for those of you that don't know, I'm at Eco Thrift. So Eco Thrift is a large thrift store in my city that basically, like between the flea markets and Eco Thrift, basically like ran my whole my whole YouTube career, you know. But yeah, there it is, Eco Thrift. We're here. Uh, let's go inside and see what we can find. All right. So when I first walked in, I saw that they brought out a new cart, and I just quickly looked through it, and I found this uh, really cool vintage Thrasher hoodie. So this thing is pretty cool i'm trying to figure out what that is i don't know if that's flames or peanut butter but uh it's one of them uh, but i did look it up real quick and this one's five bucks and the sold comp that i found is right here so 34 or 35 bucks for the same exact thing so we'll go ahead and uh pick up this guy he's uh really cool the only flaw that i see so far is this thing right here which is kind of unfortunate so I mean, a lot of people just pull these things out. Thrasher was notorious for really cheap uh, little hoodie pulls, so I'll probably just pull that out, list it for 30 35 and call it a day. But yeah, cool little piece right there, a little skateboard uh, history. Okay, so I see a Diamond Series glove here, so let's see how much they want for it. So $8. So this place it does do like discounts, so I don't know what the discounts are today. Okay. So let me see, see if you guys can see it. I really doubt you can see it, but it says sell over there. So yellow is 25%, orange is 50, and green is 75% off. So this one will be roughly around like six bucks. But yeah, these uh, Diamond Series gloves usually do pretty good. This one looks like a youth model, but uh, yeah, let me look it up real quick and see if it's uh, worth picking up. So we're actually going to be passing on this one. This one is a youth model, which is not the best thing in the world, but uh, 
the the selling price is about 25 so here's a 125 here's one for 15 plus shipping so we'll go ahead and pass on this unless let me just see because Parker does need a new glove this might be a really good glove for him so actually still I still might pick this thing up and give it to Parker see if he wants it because his is uh, getting a little bit uh, worn out so Actually, yeah, I'm going to pick this thing up because I know that it is a quality glove. Like, these Diamond Collection gloves are very sought after in the adult models. But, uh, yeah, we'll buy it. Give him a shot. If he doesn't want it for $6, I could relist it for $20. we will still make some money. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to be more of a personal buy, more than likely. That's the intentions for the buy. All right, let's keep on looking around. So I've actually sold one of these things before. This is a Coco Joe figure. And, uh, yeah, there's their logo right there. The one I sold was actually a really good like tiki. I think I sold it for like 60, 70 bucks. Uh, but I did look up this one. They want $12.99 for it. And unfortunately, she only sells for right around like 23 plus shipping. So uh, we'll have to pass on that. Um, let me see if I can show you guys some of the better comps. Okay. Yeah, I don't even see the one I sold. Mine look kind of looked like that one. But uh, yeah, the lady, we'll have to leave her behind. But yeah, pretty cool to find an item that I flipped once that was good. But you know, this, this version is not that great. Okay. All right, we got to keep on looking around. This place is super busy, a lot of competition. Uh, this is a Revereware uh, tea kettle thing. So I've bought and sold these a few times now. And there's like really good models and then there's like really basic models. I think this is more of the basic one, but we're gonna try to look it up a new way. So in the eBay app, you can actually tap this little photo icon right here. And we can try to take a photo of it and potentially what it's supposed to do is supposed to pull up some comps. So let's try that real quick. All right, it didn't work right away. Okay, and here we go. All right, so it actually did pretty good. So here's our sold comps, and these are all the exact same ones. Looks like they're selling pretty normally for like 20 bucks. So we're probably gonna be passing on it. Because they do want five bucks on it, we probably will be passing on it, but that's pretty cool. We're gonna be trying out this eBay app photo taking thing again. Back in the day, it used to work, but then it would only bring up uh, what things are listed for. So now being able to do this and search uh, actual sold comps with a photo is kind of cool. So uh, we'll leave this one here for now. We're not going to be getting it because I don't want to make 20 bucks on a $5 thing. I've already done that enough times in this video today. Uh, so we'll pass on it. But uh, yeah, look at this horse. This thing's kind of crazy. Uh, I know sometimes these things could sell pretty well, but I, I don't know about like the the hay version like this i don't know i don't know should we try the ebay app photo thing on this thing i don't know if it's gonna work but we can try okay let's just start over do the photo thing again take a little photo of it click on it yeah it's it's not gonna work with me now oh here we go all right didn't do so well on this item but that makes sense to me because it is kind of more of a random item it's probably a handmade one if that so are these results useful no they're not really useful today okay well the photo thing was a fail on that one but i will try to look it up manually and i'll let you guys know if we're gonna be picking it up okay so this is the only thing similar that i could find and this one looks much smaller and it's only sold for 15 bucks so we're gonna leave that little uh I guess that's a big guy. He's not a little guy. Got a big hay horse behind. All right, so if I had to give it my best guess, I would say that this more than likely is a San Marcos blanket. I could already tell just by the feel, the look, and the touch. Uh, but this is kind of throwing me off. So what is this, like a snowflake design or something? We're going to have to look into this a little better. But uh, let me just see if I could find the tag on it real quick. San Marcos blankets are usually really good. They used to be a lot better. Okay, so this thing is just completely faded off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this thing out. We're gonna see what it looks like. We'll do like a Google image or something and try to see if it's San Marcos and if it's even worth picking up. Let's see what they want for it first before we even get into it because if it's 70 bucks, we're probably just gonna be passing on it. 
All right, I don't see the price tag, but yeah, give me a second and we'll get this thing up and we'll take a better look at it. All right, so here's our better look at this blanket. So I guess it's an eagle. That's pretty cool. I still don't know how much it is though. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to, oh, here it is down here. So it's $20, but it's an orange tag and I know orange tags are on discount. Okay, 50% off, so it'll be $10. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, look up, see if like San Marcos are even a thing, like this design, see if I'm right or not. All right, here we go. San Marcos Eagle Blanket Blue. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so here are the only ones that I see sold, which are different. We'll go to the listed ones just to see. Okay, that one's not it either. I'm going to take out the blue. Okay, anything similar. Not seeing it there. Okay, not seeing it there either. All right, so now what we got to do is take a Google image of this thing to figure out who makes it real quick okay so we're gonna go to the google app we're just gonna take a photo Man, this is not ideal right here i need to be way farther back okay so there's a very similar color style with the san marcos i'm like 99 percent sure that this thing is a san marcos and for 10 bucks i'm pretty sure we need to be picking it up but uh yeah Really cool blanket. And this used to be my San Marcos spot where I used to find them all. So let me just set you guys up real quick. We'll put this thing away and then uh, keep on moving. Let's see. There we go. Stay there. It's a big old blanket. You guys know how big I am compared to this blanket. <laughs> but for 10 bucks, this is gonna be a steal. I think we're probably gonna be getting, I don't know. I don't know the San Marcos blanket market right now. Back in the day, this would probably be like a $150 blanket. Today it's probably more like a 70 to 70 to 80, more than likely if I had to guess. But yeah, it's in the cart, and uh, yeah, we're almost done with this thrift store. Let's just look around a little bit more and see what else we can find. All right, this is kind of funny to me because Kayla and I just picked up one of these pillows probably like last month. So this is a Merry Christmas pillow. I'm gonna have to ask her who makes it because she's already looked in. This one has a tags cut off, but uh, she already looked into it and it's probably already listed on her eBay store. But uh, I think she said it was like 17 to 20 dollars, and today it's only a dollar 99, but it's an orange tag, so that means it's going to be half off. So we'll pick that one up, see what else we got here. It's a cute little uh, teddy bear Christmas guy. I don't know. This one, this one could be good, but let's see, let's just do a Let's do that eBay image thing and see if it'll pull it up. All right, let's go to eBay. We're going to go to the photo thing, switch over to the image, and we'll just take a quick little photo of that guy. We'll see if it pulls it up. Okay, we're going to filter to sold. All right. I don't really see it here. It's pulling up a bunch of different kind of teddy bear things, but uh, let's just do this. Christmas teddy bear pillow tapestry and we'll just see what pulls up there can okay, nothing all right just because I can't find it I'm gonna leave this one behind and really um, I'm trying to focus on like smaller things here in California for me to ship them and stuff so we'll, uh, we'll pass on it without any like sales history we got to pass on it all right so we're walking out of eco thrift without that gundam finger I uh, looked up the listed comps and there was quite a few listed so at 35 bucks I decided to just pass on it uh, but yeah we got some cool stuff we got the 99% sure San Marcos we got the glove for Parker the Thrasher and then the pillow so not a bad day overall inside of Eco Thrift I'm actually pretty happy with that uh, but yeah that's gonna be it for today I know this is probably gonna be a shorter video uh, but that's just uh, what we're able to do it's not always uh, home runs every single day but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And we'll see you soon with another video. I would say that I was 40, but they probably worth like 25. 
30 is my max. I don't want to go any higher than 30. Pretty full, but yeah. I saw these. This is like some... When I picked these up, I thought they were a little bit newer, but when I looked on the back... It's thrasher hoodie, so... This thing is... Here's our better look at this blanket, so I guess it's an eagle. Picked up one of these colors last month. 